Austin, Molly, and I are going to Budapest, Vienna, and Salzburg this weekend. Super excited. Oh my gosh. It's finally, it's my first trip I booked, like, way back when in Black Friday. So I've been really looking forward to this one. Um, it got... It was supposed to be last weekend, I told you that in the last vlog, but it got moved to this weekend. Finally came. Molly Noss and I are going to meet down in the courtyard. It's 3.30 right now. We're going to meet at 4 o'clock. And the Bust Alps bus leaves at 5. So we are driving overnight. It's going to be a really long bus ride. <laughs> Hopefully I can sleep. We're going to get there in Budapest Friday morning. I think we have all day just to do tours and the thermal baths, which I'm really looking forward to. And then that night we have a cruise. Um, I'll keep you updated on how the weekend goes. Hey everyone! So we are at the bus station. Yay! <laughs> Backpacks are on the front because they don't want anything stolen. Totally worth it. Okay. So, we are still waiting for the bus on our way to Termini. I never know how to say it. Termini station? Bus? Train station? I don't know. We're gonna meet the bus Alps people there. Still waiting for the bus. We've been waiting here for quite some time. But, it'll be worth it. Yay, yay, yay! Buddha Pass! Buddha Pass! Hey everyone! <laughs> so, Austin Mall and I here. So, apparently, bus to Alps. Um, oh, our leader's back there. Apparently they forgot to stop in Rome because they're picking people up in Firenze, Florence. But um, yeah, they forgot about it, so we're taking a train now. <laughs> hey everyone! So Molly and I are back in Florence and Austin is here for the first time. Our train, um, we got here really early, so we had like an hour to do whatever, but we might just stay here. It's nice being back in Florence. I missed it, even though I'm just in the train station. <laughs> um, so it's going to be a really long bus ride to Budapest. It's going to be like 12 hours. So we're just going to embrace it. <laughs> embrace the journey. Yay! Yay, Budapest! Okay. Um, so I probably won't check in. Stop talking. I hope you guys can't hear the calm, but it is so loud. I'm gonna check in later, maybe when we have a break on the bus or when we get on the bus. Hey everyone. So we made it on the bus. Austin's over there. Um, so it is gonna be a 12 hour bus ride. It's really small. Not like really small, but. Oh geez. Oh no. It got dark. Well, oh, we're moving. Uh, so, hopefully this bus ride goes well. I packed some snacks. I'm really excited to eat them. They're going to play some movies. And hopefully I can sleep. Hoping for the... Oh, my neck pillow. I've had to put... It's in the... It's under the... It's underneath. Oh, dang it. That's really depressing. We had to put our bags underneath. And I just had to throw it under and get a seat. I forgot my neck pillow. So we are at the 45 minute stop at this little like rest stop area. This is a bright light. It's kind of strange, but like everyone waits in line, but they open their food before they pay or their drinks or whatever. And it's really strange. And I don't know if that's an Italy thing, but a lot of people here like from the United States. So I don't know if that's just like not a Michigan or Indiana thing. I don't really know, but it's really strange. We have like nine hours left, maybe 10, I don't know. Hopefully shorter. Hey everyone, we made it to Budapest. I am so exhausted, so tired. I literally just came off 12 hour bus ride. Felt like, I think it was more like 13. I don't really know, honestly. But we're in a hostel, has four beds. There's three of us. We have a roommate, Suzanne, she's from Connecticut. Seems pretty cool. Only talked to her for like two minutes though, so I don't really know. Um, this is kind of a cool view outside our hostel. Bus to Alps rented out the entire hostel, which is super cool. And they're making breakfast for us right now. I'm so excited. 
Um, in a little bit, we're gonna freshen up, freshen all this up, and then we're gonna go on a walking tour and then to the thermal baths. That's gonna be nice and relaxing. All right, oh my gosh, I almost ran into this light. <laughs> okay, I'll keep you guys updated. So we just ate breakfast. Um, I don't know. We had eggs and like sandwiches and stuff, <laughs> and bread, bread and butter. <laughs> so we are walking the streets. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're going on a um, walking tour, and I don't really know what the sights here in Budapest are. <laughs> it's really chilly. It's almost like we're back in Rome. Yeah, it's really chilly. It's like 30 or 40. Oh, we'll check in later. Budapest is cool so far. The buildings are pretty cool. to the walking tour, maybe only 30 minutes. It's a two and a half hour walking tour, but right behind me right here is St. Stephen Basilica, and it was, St. Stephen was the first emperor, and they dedicated after him. It's, it's at 12 o'clock, so the bells are going off. It's so, so pretty. and I here <laughs> we are walking across the bridge um, to the Buddha Buddha side yeah Buddha side I guess it's the um, hilly side so all over there look how pretty it is oh my gosh we're gonna be walking up some giant hill but look at this cool bridge the group is all back here it's so cold it's so awesome though So we just finished our walking tour and let me see if I can, there we go, look how pretty this is, Budapest. 
people here say Budapest, not Budapest. Because Budapest sounds better than Budapest. It's so pretty. I every time I go somewhere I'm gonna say I want to, wish I would have studied abroad here. But this is beautiful. So so cool. In a couple of minutes we are going to meet with our group, walk about 20 minutes or so and go to the thermal baths. It's gonna be amazing because it is so cold right now. Um, so thermal baths later, and then we're gonna go have some free time and go on the dinner cruise tonight. So, the metro was super stressful, but we made it to the thermal bath, this yellow building. Super stressful, but it'll all be worth it. Just got out of the thermal bath. Super nice. It's like a giant hot tub. <laughs> um, back here is where you buy like the tickets for the thermal bath, and then you go through the door over there, right there. Um, it was really nice. I couldn't really video because I, for one, it was also raining, like sprinkling, but I didn't want to get my phone wet, and there was so much steam that I thought it would ruin it. But Molly got a couple on her GoPro and a couple pictures, so hopefully I can edit those into the vlog. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. If you ever come to Budapest, Budapest, <laughs> definitely do the thermal baths. They were 100% worth it. And they weren't that expensive. <sighs> right now we're gonna go to the dinner cruise or go back to the hostel, get ready, and then go to the dinner cruise. It's so cold though. It's so cold. But, it's but really we will survive. Yeah. And we will drink palinka all night. <laughs> hey everyone. So we made it on the cruise. Yay. Um, super excited for this. I'm running out of storage on my phone, so I'm hoping I can uh, video as much as I can. But if not, just know it's fun already. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll try and take pictures and I'll try and upload those if I can't video anymore. But we're getting a three course meal and Hungarian folk dancing and some uh, live music. Ah, it's starting! Yay! 